I came here to save you. The fortress is taken. It is over. Do not cite the deep magic to me, witch. I was there when it was written. You're my only hope. We shall fight on the beaches. There will be days when we lose faith. We band of brothers. But take heart. Look around. You're not in this fight alone. I bid you stand! Men of the West! This is Caleb with King's Advisors, and we've got some uh, we've got some interesting news to talk about. Apparently, Aaron Taylor Johnson is in talks to be the next James Bond. Now, as a huge James Bond fan myself, having watched every movie multiple times, even the latest No Time to Die, which was by far probably the worst one ever. I am not happy with this suggestion that he'll be the next James Bond. I hope to God that's wrong. First off, you want James Bond? Cast Henry Cavill or Richard Madden. Both of them would be exceptional James Bonds and would continue in the steps of early Craig since that last one was garbage and would help erase any bad taste that we as fans have gotten from Phoebe Waller bridge writers and industry people when dealing with masculine characters. I'm sitting here looking at a list that Esquire posted uh, three weeks ago about who should be the next James Bond. First off, of course, they lead the list with Lashana Lynch, the actress that played the new 007 in the last movie. Let me make it clear. I had no problem with Lashana Lynch playing the new 007 because it is clear that 007 is his station identifier. James Bond and 007 can be different people if James Bond's retired. But if James Bond is a double O agent, he is double O seven. Now I'm not going to go into any argument about whether or not James Bond has to be white or black. That is an argument for another time. Personally, had Idris Elba been given the role a decade ago before he was, what, 54, I think? Fifty. Apologies. He's 50 now. Before he was 50, I think Idris Elba might have been might have done a good job. But he wasn't. So stop talking about it. Stop suggesting people like Andrew Garfield. I enjoyed the amazing Spider-Man movies. Andrew Garfield has been in good movies. Andrew Garfield cannot be 007. Harry Styles cannot be 007. 007 is a man, a masculine, tough man. And Harry Styles will never be able to put that on screen. Nicholas Holt. That's an interesting suggestion. You know what? Let me share this. Present. Share screen. Nicholas Holt. I don't think it's a terrible suggestion. 
I like him. He's a very good actor. The problem is 007 is cold hearted. He is doing his job for now king and country. It has nothing to do with whether or not he likes the mission or hates the people he's spying on. And I don't think Nicholas Holt could be cold hearted. I don't think he could display that on screen in the same way that Harry Styles could not display masculinity. Damson Idris. I have no idea who this is. No, I I don't know who he is. Um, maybe I should. Miles Teller did an excellent job in um uh Top Gun Maverick. Uh I heard he did a good job in Whiplash. I've never seen Whiplash. Um, but I mean he maybe he could. You know, Miles Tellers might might be a good idea. He he certainly looks the role a lot more than Aaron Taylor Johnson. And let me scroll up here to get to Aaron Taylor Johnson. If you remember, Aaron Taylor Johnson played the Black Douglas in the um Scottish Independence movie, uh The Outlaw King, and did a very good job. But he does not look like 007 to me. 007 is supposed to be suave and sophisticated. He's supposed to be able to talk his way out of anything. Use gadgets, fast cars, beautiful women. And I just don't get that vibe with this guy. You know who I do get that vibe with? Richard Madden. Gee, imagine that. I'll tell you who else I get that vibe with. Henry Cavill. Not to quote every other internet person, but a decade ago, Henry Cavill would be leading every single franchise on the planet. But no, people are too afraid. If Bar- if what Barbara Broccoli said a couple months ago is true, that the next James Bond will be more in touch with his feelings and be more of an emotional character. It will spell death to the franchise. And with Amazon now acquiring the rights through MGM, I shudder to think what will happen, especially if you let Jennifer Sulky get her hands on him. She'll ruin him. She'll give Miss Moneypenny agency. She'll give... And that's just a stupid casting thought right there. Are you kidding me? I actually think uh, James Norton might be a good idea. I, I think it would definitely be going a different direction than some people would expect. But I look at this guy and you have to remember 007 is not for the most part, a very deep character. Yes, his wife dies in Casino Royale, the book. And so there's a lot made, especially in the early movies. There's There, there are points made uh, about moments where his reaction is based off of the death of his wife. Like in... Timothy Dalton's second movie where uh, Felix tells, I think the woman, he Felix just got married. And I believe he tells his wife that double James Bond was married once. And that's used as an explanation as to why he seems kind of cold and distant at the wedding because his own wife died. And I could see James Norton doing that. I don't, th- I don't think it would be, as good as Henry Cavill. But if we're not going to get Henry Cavill, especially if he go- is going and doing his 40K show with Amazon, Norton might be a good second. 
But Madden or Cavill? I don't know. I don't know who I need to talk to to get this to happen. Especially if Madden's not going to get his second season of uh, Bodyguard, which was also a great show. I don't know. That's me ranting. That's 10 minutes of me ranting about how the industry is stupid, how Barbara Broccoli may ruin what her, her father spent 35 years building. Cubby Broccoli cast Sean Connery. I mean, come on. Barbara, at least try to think what your father would do. Your father wouldn't sit there and listen to sulky and other industry people saying, oh, we need a more in touch with his feelings 007. He'd tell him, get the hell out of there, cast Henry Cavill, and make the best damn action movie of the decade. If you get this right, you could set 007 up for life. But they won't. They'll fail at this the same way they fail at everything else now. I don't know. Maybe I'm just cold-hearted. Maybe. I, that, and this is another thing. You know who shouldn't be 007? Tom Holland. Stop trying to put Tom Holland in everything. Tom Holland did a very good job as Peter Parker. Tom Holland was a terrible Nathan Drake. Tom Holland would be a terrible Superman. Stop trying to make that happen. Again, tell me who to tell this to, and I'll scream it from the mountaintops. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And please, subscribe, click the bell, and follow us on Twitter at kingsadvisors underscore.